Welcome everyone to my first Mythic Battles Pantheon Nemesis playthrough, which sees my Ares Warband going against the Bots Zeus one. So let's discuss my Warband first, as I have Ares as my deity, I have Hydra as my monster, two heroes, Achilles and Marsyas, along with two troops, the Myrmidons, and Infernal Hounds. Zeus's Warband consists of himself, the Minotaur, Leonidas, Uriton, Spartan troops, along with Centaur troops. This warband is the easiest difficulty one, bar me swapping out the hoplites for Spartans, as I feel they should realistically be there with Leo. Anyway, this is where the troops have deployed on the board. To win, you either kill the deity or absorb four on Phallos, which are the red glowing rocks in the middle of the board. Only deities can absorb those, but others can claim them, so let's get into my turn, shall we? With me starting by deploying Achilles on the board beside his Myrmidons. He's a tough son of a gun, so I want him involved early to pressure the midfield. The bot then deploys Leonidas in the forest, so the two Greek legends might clash on that right flank. I decide to move forward my slow Myrmidons before using an Art of War to draw two cards. The Art of Wars are slim in my army, so I do need to be careful with them. The bot though brings Zeus on very early, creating pressure as he will want to smash the Omphalos on the board. If he smashes four, he wins, so I now need to think about gaining his attention away from them. To do that, I move up my Infernal Hounds, who have two movement and claim the Omphalos. The Minotaur then comes into fray for the bot, meaning he nearly has all his warband on the board. That's not good for me. Luckily though, I drew the Infernal Hounds card, which meant I could play it and run them back near Achilles. This would give them a giant target on their back, but it will give me a chance to slow the game just that little bit. The Spartans then activate for the bot, going towards the nearest stone as they can't attack the hounds, but I believe they will head in that direction. Please tell me if that's right or not, if you know the rules a bit better than me. I deploy Marseus in my turn, putting him in the corner as his Pi Piper ability might be able to lure Zeus if I do end up needing it. The bot draws an Art of War so gets two goes meaning Zeus moves closer to us as he will attack next activation with his area effect. At least that's what I think. Please let me know if he would have attacked at this point. But I didn't do it because I don't think he would have, reading the rules. But anyway, the Minotaur moves for the second activation, closer to the Umphalos by the Ruins. I decide to bring Ares on near the Umphalos as I might be able to claim it soon. Or even attack Zeus who has exposed himself just that little bit. feel he did that quite often in the tales, but... I also discard an Art of War to draw two cards. Uriton then comes on the board for the bot, meaning nearly everyone's joined the party. My Hydra is the only one missing right now. Using my Myrmidons to stop a potential area attack being way too effective, I move close to Zeus and give him a smack, causing two wounds surprisingly on five dice. Gods bless the dice it seemed for that one. Uriton though didn't like his master getting hit so moves to protect him, killing a Myrmidon on his attack. I then, potentially stupidly, decide to move Ares up on that left flank in the hopes of claiming some Unphalos. Which might have been really stupid as Uriton charges the hounds, killing two of them but didn't get a mighty throw off. So on my turn, I first claim an Umphalos with Ares, the first one of the game, but I then discard an Art of War to move Achilles in to help the Hounds by attacking Uriton and causing a brutal four wounds to him. You shouldn't give Achilles a whiff of a fight, that's for sure. Uriton now, what can I say, only I can't shuffle really good, gets his last activation. He was hoping for a mighty throw or a kill, but he only manages to kill two of the hounds, which means he's pretty much a sitting duck right now. Achilles, though, smells some tastier meat in the next zone, as he can now reach Zeus, and so he charges in, causing four mighty wounds, 
meaning Zeus only has four health left. He is in trouble, it seems. The centaurs move for the bot, though, and now this is where I might need a little bit more help again as they target the closest unit they can attack by moving too. But the Umphalos seems to be the best decision in the order of attack. So I destroyed that for the bot. Let me know if that was the right decision, if you understand these rules better. And if the troops and heroes can smash the Umphalos for the bot because I couldn't find nothing about it in the rulebook. So I presume that they can. Anyway... Moving on, I decide to create a bit more of a distraction by moving Marsyas and claiming the free Umphalos. Of course, the bot then activates Zeus, meaning he targets Marsyas in the next area, moving and smacking him for two wounds. Zeus also has block, so it means that Marsyas is basically stuck there. I do, though, manage to finally get my Hydra on the board by drawing his card, finally. I bet all four of them are stuck together, which means I'm hoping he will end up causing some Zeus some trouble at range. The bot drew an art of war, which meant the Spartans come into attack. Achilles, they cause a wound, but he ignores the first one, so takes no damage. Zeus then activates, though, and he's had enough of the fun and games, so just outright throws a bolt straight through Marsyas' head, killing him outright, basically. It is all in vain, though, as my Hydra, miffed at his late invite, moves and attacks Zeus at range with his many heads. And those dice, as you can see right here, were his second rolls. He literally rolled four fives on seven dice, meaning Zeus took four wounds and then went down. Thanks everyone for watching. Let me know if I've made any mistakes with target priority as I'm still new to this, but I'm loving this game so far and it was such a great thing to play. The solo nemesis rules seem really functional. I did end up getting lucky with a lot of dice, but that swings and roundabouts in it really. Please leave a like, comment and subscribe because if this video does do well, I will end up making a few more. But thanks for watching.